Hello, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will learn about the way through which we can handle the errors with the help of PSSR subroutine. So let's go through the program. So here we are writing the code in fully free format. And firstly, we are declaring some control option, no debug IO and SRST STMT, which is mainly for debugging purpose. Now below to that, we have declared one variable, which is number one of size two numeric. Now inside the main logic, what we are doing, we are just storing some numeric value to this number one variable. And then on line number 20, we are multiplying that with some number. So here, what will happen like 50 will get multiplied by four. So for sure we will get 200, but it is not a two digit number, but the size that we have, uh, we are using for storing these output is two, but we are storing it, uh, the output will be three. So for sure it will give some error. So in that case, what will happen if we are not using this PSSR routine, then it will program will uh, ended up with the with a system error, right? But we don't want to show any kind of system error. Instead of that, we will want to customize it with some message and then we will see that message. So to handle this thing, what we do, we will use this star PSSR routine. So what happened like whenever there is an uh, abnormal activity in the program or any error or failure occur in the program then automatically this routine will get executed and once this executed so whatever we have written inside this program inside this routine will shown to the user that the uh, error has occurred due to the size or whatever the custom message you want to show it will be shown here okay so here what we are doing in star bssr we are writing dump a dump a is used for taking the dump of the error so suppose we have shown that message to user that this error has occurred due to this but if we talk about uh, uh, developer like developer wants to check like what exactly the issue that causes this failure so for their perspective what we do we take the dump so whenever he gets uh, the developer wants to check the actual error he can check the dump and he can resolve that error okay so let's see how it works so firstly we will remove this and we will compile it normally and see how the error occur so i have removed it now i am compiling it and calling it so this kind of error we will get the target for numeric is too small to hold the result which is obvious error because we are storing three digit number into a two digit number so this error should not uh, be visible to the other user who is using the application. So to make sure that it will not display to the user, we will do this kind of error handling. So here I'm using the star PSSR to handle this. Okay. So we have added this code. Now we will compile and check what will we get now this time it doesn't fail with the error instead of that it shows that custom messages like error occurred due to size okay all right so this message is populated now suppose you want to resolve this issue so in that case what will happen like you have to check this what exactly the issue is so for that you can run work splf enter then press shift f6 so once you press shift f6 you will see this uh, at the last you will see QPP uh, QPGM dump okay so this is the dump that we have taken with the help of dump a command now take five and here you will see the actual error like what was the error in which line it was uh, coming right so statement in error this so all those related information you can find from here and then you can easily go and resolve that issue okay so this is how we can handle the error with the help of star PSSR there are other methods also through which we can handle the error but this is the one uh, way through which we can handle all the errors generic way in generic way because whenever any kind of error any issue is occurred it will be handled with the help of star pssr so dump is also an important command if you are not uh, if you are not know uh, aware of this command then you you can use this dump a with the help of this you can take the dump of any occurred program error okay and then inside the spool file worker spool file you can check this dump information 
so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching texture myth